fingers crossed. <laughs> Sort of look over to the, behind the tower just to give me an idea if you see anything. He's about eight feet wingspan. <laughs> oh god, that's a sin, isn't it? I've been, I've been, I must have about eight films I made this morning, you know. The one flight I put up without a camera. in flipping Tipperary or some or not Tipperary Kerry or somewhere by right now. He might have just been going up going home, you know. <laughs> he came down really low though. He did, yeah. It was incred an incredible sight. You know I I couldn't figure out what he was. He was so massive uh, because I often fly with the crows and the ravens up here. But this guy was a much much more golden and, and speckled. Just just like the plane just like this guy. And uh, I suddenly realised, you know, looking at the wing and then the, the transponder on his wing, I said, that's one of the eagles. Are there many even in the country? I, th that, I think they've released something like a hundred or so. Between Kerry and, and uh, up, up, up in Mayo, I believe. And where did they have them before that? Oh, they brought them in from Scotland and Norway, to the chicks. But I mean, the chicks are the size of a turkey, you know. Yeah, that guy could be on a hundred mile going home trip today, you know, and yeah. just happened to run into into me. That is a sin, I, I tell you. I'll never, I'll never ever fly this eagle again without a camera <laughs> running because that was that would have been a fantastic film. I think he's gone home. He was going pretty fast as well. He wasn't. No. He was pretty, was he? Yeah, I think he's gone. I think he's gone home for the night. But I think they really, they can really do a long distance. You know, they might do 100 miles easily, just flying around, having a look. The guys are never going to believe this because we've never, <laughs> we've never seen an eagle up here before. You know, but everyone, everyone watches out for them, and we've never been so close because. You know, we've seen them out in Shannon. We believe we've seen them in Shannon, but at the flying club down there. But you just can't get close enough because they just don't come down. They're, yeah. they're half a mile up. But when you're up so high as well now. But you see, the guy could have been high. Well, we're so high here. That's point. Yeah, that's a good point. But secondly, he would have spotted this thing, and I, I'm not, I much prefer to fly this up here than yeah. down in Shannon. It's not really the ideal spot for. Have two witnesses anyway. yeah. We've got, we've got two, um, we've got a 200 foot limit on the flying altitude because of the airport, you know. Yeah. But up here, you're, we're at, we're at 1,200 feet before you even start. Yeah. I'm just giving him a, every chance now because he's, if he's over there at all. But th th I understand they're very territorial. You know, they don't like another eagle being in their patch. As you say, we saw it anyway, but... <laughs> and did you recognise it sort of fairly straight away, or...? Yeah, we did you? I thought it was. Yeah. Because yeah. he was big, wasn't he? That's the shape of the wing. Yeah, do you see the... You know the wing feathers? This, this guy's got sort of feathery ends at the wings, but nothing like him. His... his jagged, yeah, really jagged. Yeah. And when you see them flying, they're like this. You know that they're actually maneuvering with, with those with those feathers. It's quite amazing to watch. But he was coming after this guy, I can tell you. And he wasn't coming after him with his beak. He was coming after him with his claws. And you could see it. And as soon as I'll show you what I was doing. 
you watch now, as soon as he got too aggressive, now he can't do that. <laughs> so I could be in front of him and I could be behind him when I cut, you know, just like that. But um, that was such an incredible sight. Did he say he was here for long? Was he here for long? Who, me? No, the, the eagle. No, this is, I was only up 10 minutes uh, and then he suddenly turned, yeah. I've been here all morning and I haven't seen anything. I can't believe we've got here. No, <laughs> but you see, I, this is the first flight with the eagle that I've, I've put, put this guy up. And uh, and I thought it was a crow. He was sort of going around, drifting around and looking at me. And I thought it was a just a big, a, a, a really big um, raven, because we do get them up here and they do chase this guy. But... Um, Would he be dangerous for humans? Let's say humans oh, no, no, no. no. No, they wouldn't come anywhere near humans. And there's oh. no over there, is there? That's the normal bird, though. Oh, I don't know. I think that's him. Do you know that? It is him. It is. Yep. It's him. Oh, God, now I've got the bloody sun. I'll come back and down here. That's him! That's him! Wow! Wow! You watch this now. This is history, man. You watch this. No, it doesn't. I hope it doesn't make my fucking plane. That's him! Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! Look at the size of him. My, my, my eagle is five foot. my bloody eagle, oh there it is, yeah. I thought he was going to stay longer, but you see he gets tired, he would get tired just going. Possibly, you know, they might eventually recognise that it's not a real bird, you know, because, yeah, he didn't uh, attack it at all that time. He's gone, hasn't he?
I put it, do you do you look at YouTube at all? Yeah. I put it up on YouTube. Great. I put it up uh, Eagle Eagle in Tipperary, okay? Okay. And Lee, give me a couple of days. Well, I might be able to get it up. Tomorrow. Eagle in Tip. I call it Eagle in Tipperary. And. Um, Yeah, that's great. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Listen, take it easy, okay? okay thank you very much. And if, if it goes up okay, if it comes out okay, just just put a note on it saying, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. Cheers. Eagle in temporary. Right. Bye.